the new year. We can finally leave 2020 behind. Actually, I'm filming this video December of 2020, but this is the first video that I'm uploading for 2021 because I figured what better video to put out at the very start of the year than a Notion video. A video to help us all get organized and set up our planners and calendars for 2021. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is basically your all-in-one workspace where you can make notebooks, planners, calendars, to-do lists, budget trackers, habit trackers, mood trackers, literally anything and everything you need to plan, to get organized, to manage tasks, to set goals, to make notes. It's basically the key to organization. <laughs> and this video is so, so, so kindly sponsored by Notion. So if you want to sign up for a free account, make sure to click the link in my description. And before we begin, um, subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you be a part of our family this 2021. And make sure to hit that bell as well to get notified every single time I post a video, Saturday 2 p.m. <laughs> we are here. The MacBook is here. Notion is here. She's all set up and ready to go. Before I show you guys my Notion, Notion setup. Let me give you a quick overview. I would say that my Notion setup prioritizes practicality over aesthetic. And that is just my nice way of saying that she's not that cute. She's definitely not as cute and colorful and aesthetic and Pinterest-y as the other Notion templates that you've probably seen. And that's because I'm a basic girl. I like templates that are very straight to the point, very basic, very straightforward, just easy to use. So when I customize my Notion, I really ensure that everything I added were templates that I've actually used. And I didn't add stuff just for the sake of adding them. And this is what works for me. So I hope you guys still like it. <laughs> I told you guys, it's all black and white. Girl, she's basic. <laughs> everything that I'll show you, I actually made myself. And that's what I really love about Notion. You're really able to customize it and personalize it to your needs. But if you're like, girl, I don't have time to be making my own template. Girl, don't worry because Notion actually has a bunch of pre-made templates. There are literally so many templates you can choose from. So let us start. So as you can see, I have three main pages main rooms, whatever you want to call it. So we have school, YouTube, and personal. Actually, first let's talk about my icons. I'm actually obsessed with my icons. So if you click change icon, you can actually change it to an emoji or you can upload your own image. So I, of course, uploaded my own because again, I wanted it to just be black and white. And I think it's so cute. I think it just looks so basic and like sleek. Oh, girl, I love it. <laughs> so let's start with school. So first we have the calendar. I use this to track my deadlines, my major deadlines. I only include major school deadlines. What I really like about the Notion calendar is you can actually tag your tasks. So as you can see over here, all of them have tags. So we have blue for Psych 192, pink for philosophy, yellow for my English elective. And what's great about this is if we go up here, I have two views. So I have a calendar view, which is this one, and I have a board view. It automatically categorizes them based on the subject. So it's great because it's just way easier to keep track of. And I also added a little checkbox so I can tick the task when I'm done. So it's super easy to see which tasks I haven't done yet. So that is it for my calendar. Next, we have the module syllabus. So this page is to help me keep track of my module. Since for online school, my university has has adopted a modular system. So this is great because when I work on my modules, I usually don't finish a module in one sitting. And before this, I used to forget like where I ended. So I'd have to like scroll and scroll and scroll. So this is just way more convenient because I can just tick the pages of the module that I've done so that when I come back the next day, I just go on Notion and see where I ended. And I sorted it in descending order. So the latest module first. So that is it for my module syllabus. Then we have module progress and this is the template that I am the most proud of. This is actually what got me into Notion. I envisioned a type of module tracker that I wanted and I knew it would help me a lot for my modules and I tried making it on so many other applications. I even tried just making it using pen and paper but it just 
it didn't work like I wasn't satisfied so I was like girl why don't you try Notion like people are always raving about it and you know how customizable it is and all that so I made it on Notion and I was like girl this is it this is what you've been wanting so I'm just so obsessed with this and it helps me so 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 much so it's categorized by week and again it's sorted in descending order so the most recent week first so first we have the subject then we have the module number then we have read so if I've read the module already and we have three options oh i love this we have not started ongoing or done then we have notes so if i've made my notes for the module we have none initial and final then we have graded work so if i've answered all discussion boards answered all quizzes tests submitted everything that has to be submitted in the module and we have none submitted some submitted and all submitted and then we have complete it's a checkbox so if i've read made my notes and submitted everything then we have another checkbox for printed so if I've printed all my notes so this has just been so insanely helpful because I used to find it so hard to like keep track of my modules and know like if I've read the one for English if I'm still missing some requirements for philosophy so this really really helps me just ensure that I am on top of everything so I love this I'm really obsessed with it now we're moving on to YouTube so first we have video progress so this is very similar to the module progress template and it's because I literally just duplicated it but I just of course customized it and tweaked it a bit to fit my YouTube needs <laughs> for the first column we have the date so when the video is gonna be published and this is again sorted in descending order so the latest video first then we have the video title then we have film so have I filmed the video and for options we have not started ongoing and done for edited we also have have not started ongoing and done for thumbnail if I've taken the thumbnail for the video I put none taken and done and then lastly we have a checkbox for scheduled is the video all scheduled and ready to go and this is so helpful for me if you're a youtuber I definitely recommend this type of template just because sometimes I do film videos in advance and I forget that I have stock videos and also for thumbnail the one thing that I always forget when it comes to video creation is the thumbnail a lot of times I will end up rushing the thumbnail because I'm like oh shoot like I literally have everything done except for the thumbnail so this is great that there's a tracker for that too then we have a calendar it's exactly the same as a school calendar it's just that the tags are different so instead of subjects as a tag here we have regular upload sponsored upload or payment so I really wanted a tag for sponsored or regular videos just because sponsored videos have to be done way earlier than regular videos like regular videos girl I can literally edit it the day of and it's fine but for sponsored videos you usually have to have them done like a week before it's scheduled to go up because of course you have to send it to the brand they're gonna give you revisions you have to do all those also we have payment because you know I'm just gonna make sure that people are paying you on time <laughs> so that is it for my calendar oh and it also has a board view similar to the school calendar there with a checklist as well now we're moving on to personal so for personal first we have a habit tracker and girl this is perfect for the new year because I don't know about you but I always have so many New Year's resolutions and I literally forget about them two weeks later so this just ensures that you are actually going to achieve all your New Year's resolutions and develop all the habits that you want to develop also just knowing that you have a tracker and you have a checklist at the end of the day motivates me at least to actually accomplish and do all these so this is what mine looks like it's currently December 20 which is why all the ones on top are blank these are all checklists so I can just tick them if I did them so first we have run because that is my exercise of choice then we have intermittent fasting drink three liters of water and journal as you can see See, I have I have not been doing well <laughs> for journaling so we have to we have to work on that for 2021 and lastly we have my spending tracker so this one is the template that I actually got from notion and I just tweaked it personalized it this one tracks only my expenses so first we have the expense
spend. So what I actually spend money on. Then we have the amount, so how much I spend. A little, little issue I have with Notion. <laughs> um, there's no option to change the currency to Philippine Peso. So right now I'm just using dollars, so you just have to remember that no, I did not spend $2,000 on Shopee Pay. And then we have the date. Again, it's sorted in descending order, so the most recent one first. I have not updated this in a week or a week and a half, so we have to, I have to do that later. <laughs> then we have payment. So this is um, what I use to, to pay for that purchase, so whether it's a credit card or it's from my spending bank account. And what's really great about Notion is they actually total it at the bottom for you, which of course is great because that's that's one less math that you have to do in your life <laughs> so that is basically it that is my whole notion setup all the templates that I have let me know how you use notion if there are any like specific trackers specific planners that you find really useful so let me know how you guys use notion and again if you want to try notion out and start using it this 2021 make sure to click the link in my description to sign up for a free notion account and again Again, huge thank you to Notion for sponsoring this video. That is it. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!